Thanks, Richard. A polling booth at the centre of a violent confrontation in the Thai capital of Bangkok has been closed ahead of today's general election. These pictures were taken by cameraman Wayne McAllister and ABC journalist Norman Hamont, who were covering a pro-government rally. Shooting broke out when government supporters attempted to march on a polling station. The station was occupied by anti-government protesters who want today's elections scrapped. People scrambled for cover as gunfire and explosions rang out for well over an hour. The country's electoral commission has announced the ballot in that district will be cancelled because of the violence. We'll bring you Norman Hamont's full report from Bangkok shortly. In Indonesia, at least 14 people have been killed after being engulfed by scorching ash clouds from a volcano. Among the dead are four high school students who are on a sightseeing excursion. Down the mountain. A woman and two children have been seriously injured in a stabbing at a home in Brisbane South earlier this morning. Police were called to the property on Darcy Road at Carina at about half past six after reports of a disturbance. They found a 39-year-old woman and a nine-year-old girl and a seven-year-old boy with multiple stab wounds. Police say a man is being questioned. A 32-year-old man has been stabbed to death at Mermaid Beach on the Gold Coast last night. Police went to a block of units around 10.30 after reports of a violent disturbance. Ambulance officers tried to revive a man suffering from stab wounds, but he died at the scene. Police have arrested one man and he's expected to be charged. Three people have been injured in a mass brawl in Brisbane CBD overnight. Police say the fight broke out on Mary Street at 11.30. Up to 10 people were involved. One of them was taken to the Royal Brisbane Hospital with injuries which are non-life-threatening. Officers arrested three people and set up a crime scene. Police are investigating a shooting and a stabbing in Melbourne overnight. Melissa Brown has more. A man has been shot in by detectives. And in news, Justin, a 37-year-old man has been charged with intentionally causing serious injury over that incident in Balaclava. Another man has been released while investigations continue. A man's been charged after a female paramedic was knocked to the ground and kicked in Sydney. It's alleged the paramedic was hit and assaulted as she tried to treat a man on George Street. The ambulance service says the man appeared to be intoxicated and was in a semi-conscious state. The paramedic was taken to hospital and treated for bruising. This is another example of the shape or form. Today's forecast hot weather in South Australia has health authorities worried. Since the latest heat wave struck on Thursday, there's been a spike in the number of people tre seeking treatment for sunburn, heat exhaustion and dehydration. Adelaide has experienced temperatures of between 37 and 42 degrees in that time, with 43 degrees forecast today. And we've been given a glimpse of what the opening ceremony in Sochi will be like. The sky has been lit up with fireworks as organisers stage a rehearsal, which also included sophisticated lighting displays and plenty of loud music. The rehearsals lasted for more than two hours.